Hey, what is going on guys? My name's Will and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make any song your ringtone on any iDevice running any iOS firmware in, including iOS 8, iOS 7, iOS 6, etc. So as you can tell I probably made previous videos on this and a lot of people have had problems and stuff. That is because iTunes has updated so it is a tiny bit different but it is still relatively the same. Now first off you will need to have your song downloaded from the internet. Uh, I have mine right here. Um, so what you're going to do is just want to drag that into iTunes. Once that is in iTunes, you just want to click on that, and you want to right click and click Get Info. Now you want to go to Options, which is the fourth one along, and then click Start Time and Stop Time. Now this can be between any length, but it has to be 40 seconds long. So it can be any time during the song, but it needs to be a maximum length of 40 seconds. So what you need to do is you can write 40 for 40 seconds and you can click OK. Uh, so it can be from 0 seconds to 40 seconds or 40 seconds to a uh, minute 20 or something like that. And you just want to right click that and you want to click create AAC version. So that's just going to duplicate it basically. And um, once that has done, you want to uh, grab the duplicate copy which should say 40 seconds as you can see there. And you just want to drag that into uh, your download or something like that. I'm just going to drag it into new folder and um, I'm just going to leak this from previous video. And once you are in here, you just want to, your one might look a bit like this and if it doesn't, you wanna, if your one looks like that, then you want to make sure that you check uh, file name extensions which is available in the view options up here. If you are on Windows 7, you go to control panel, then folders, then folder options and you want to make sure that Hide extensions for unknown file types is checked so that it enables you to edit the file type of the song or folder or anything like that. So you can see it says M4A, we're just going to copy this and write M4R, that is making it a ringtone file and once that has done you just want to drag this back into iTunes and you might notice that it hasn't appeared there and once and that's a good sign you, and you're just going to go up to where the dots are and go to tones and as you can see your song will be there. Now once your song is there, you want to make sure that you plug in your iDevice and you want to make sure that in the device's settings that sync tones is checked just like you would sync music and apps and stuff. There should be a, a tab for tones, you want to make sure that is checked. Now once that is checked, you just want to uh, click sync and it will sync it and want, next you want to go into your iDevice, you want to go to settings, then sounds, then ringtones and then your song should be up the top seeing as it's a custom ringtone that you've made yourself. If you, so please like this video if it did work for you, leave a comment below if you need any help, I'm more than happy to help you guys or make a ringtone for you guys, uh, just let me know, uh, leave me some feedback or something like that, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.